This week, we are learning about a very important word for talking about clothes, which is air. Now, air has a couple of different meanings. You might remember when we were doing our I'm sure katcha, air was our question word. You know, you'd say air her to the loan in the wall of school. Did you put your lunch in your school bag? But today we're talking about a different meaning for air, which is on. So you probably know this already. Quer me mo cos pian Louis air on mord. I put my pencil case on the table. Quer on moonshore on copelauer air on mord. The teacher put the copy on the table. In Irish, though, these little small words, which we call prepositions, they have lots of different versions of them depending on who we're talking about. So if you're saying on me, it changes. So we're going to have a look at that now. So, erduce. We're talking about me, so may. We would say ta lichoga urum. So our word air turns into urum when we're talking about me. So you say this with me. Ta lichoga urum. Ta lichoga urum. And you might know some of these already. So now let's talk about you. Ta muinka urk. You have a necklace on you. Ta muinka urt. And you might notice some of them there's a kind of a little pattern or a little cue, clue. Think may starts with m and our word is urum. It has that m at the end. Tu starts with t and here we have urt. We have that t at the end. So ta muinka urt. There's a necklace on you. For he, ta brashlaid air. Ta brashlaid air. For she, ta fanya clusa er he. She has earrings on her. Ta fanya clusa er he. For we, ta ganzaha pella urin. Now you'll have heard I said ganzi in a funny way there, and that's because we're talking about we, so we're not saying about. A jumper, we're talking about jumpers plural, so that's why it sounds different. But pay more attention to the urin part, that's the important part for right now. Ta ganza hapella urin. And here again there's a little clue. Look at shin, it ends in in, and look at urin, it also ends in in. So there's little clues here to help you out a bit. Shiv, which means you plural, so that means you bang a people over there. Ta cultaka sport or of and again you'll have heard cully sport sounds different because this time I'm talking about plural, I'm talking about tracksuits, but we're paying more attention to Urv right now. Ta cultaka sport or of again here's a little clue. Shiv ends with iv and Urv also ends with iv. Ta cultaka sport or of Sheed, which means they. Ta hudha urhu. Ta hudha urhu. So there's all our different people. Me, you, he, she, we, you plural, and they. Let's try it again together. Say it with me. Ta lichoga urum. I've leggings on me. Ta Mwinka Ert, you have a necklace on you. Ta Brashlaid Air, he's got a bracelet on him. Ta Fanya Clusi Erhi, she has earrings on her. Ta Ganzaha Pella Urin, we have jerseys on us. Ta Kultuka Sport Urv, you lot. Have tracksuits on you. And ta hudaha urhu. They have hoodies on them. Now, if we're talking about a person, but we're not saying you, he, or she, so if we're talking about a person with a name or 
we're talking a person like the teacher, we just use the word air. So have a look at this last one. Ha suhantus air rosco. Ta suhantus air rosco. Or we could say ta suhantus air on madra, on the dog. Ta suhantus air on madra. Okay, so to recap, on Shaktansha, Dalamur Nafokal Shin. We learned this new vocabulary for Adi. August Freshen, Dalamur Fuin Fokal Air. We also learned about the word air, which is a preposition, it means on. But in Irish, it's not quite as simple as just on. We have on me, Urum. On you, Ert. On him, Air. On her, Erhi. On us, Urin. On you lot, Urv. On them, Urhu. And then if we need to say on Nile, Air Nile. On the teacher, Air on Moon Shore. So if you pause on this slide here, it'll help you do your work. There's also a handy hint sheet that you can use to help. And you can work away on the activities I've set for you this week.